everyone, and welcome back to Students of Gaming. Hello! KY's a big guy, apparently. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big guy. Alright. Tommy, you're alright! Oh, wait, no. Tommy, you're alright? There. As are you. I'm glad. No, see, oh no, that was an exclamation point, I was right. Tommy, you're alright! As are you, I'm glad, alright. Hey! <laughs> none of us, none of this makes you sense. You forgot to sigh. How could you <laughs> have learned of the Orosite? Could the Church of Glabados be the ones supporting the Lita? What do they hope to gain? Tommy! You mentioned Orosite! Have you truly seen the stones from the legend? If the if Orosite is real, then I think I may have seen it once too. What? Where? First, you have to promise that you'll take me with you. Ah, you persist in this. Do you think I would risk putting you in such peril again? I will not take you with me. Hmm. And I have nothing more to say. Do not act the child. Your very life is in danger. I should think it is. I've acted against the Office of Inquisition after all. Surely I'm a heretic in their eyes. They will come for me as they do you. And when they do, do you think Dysodark will protect me? He would never do anything that might endanger House Bale after all. Ah, I'm sure our dear brother would not. He's such a prick. But you cannot come with me. The danger is too great. You must explain everything to Zabag and beg the forgiveness of the church. What I saw, it was an orbom. A crystal engraved with the likeness of a virgin maid. Ergo. I must reach it before they do. Thank you, Alma. Now go to Zabag and do as I have said. And just how do you think to enter the monastery? You're a heretic, remember? Do you think you will be welcome at Orbone? Ah. So, you need me after all. Wellity, wellity, wellity! Ah, fine, but only until we reach Orbone. When it is done, you will come home. I promise. Okay, I will hold you to it. Yay! <laughs> All right, so we gotta go to Orbone. Orbone. Uh. Orbone. That's uh, it's just the monastery. I don't think there's an actual city, but I'm not sure. Anyways, let's check and see if there's anything interesting. Brr, a main gouge. Gouge. Catch your eye. Let's see. There's a sleep blade. Put you to sleep. 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 Uh Ooh, diamond. Yes, the diamond helmet is quite a nice piece, Bob. That would be good. May I have something? How many? Thank you. Thank you. Something else. Your How many would you like? That would be. Thanks to you. Have something else. Let's piece your curiosity. Leather cloak. Ah, classic choice. Major cloak. <laughs> classic Tommy. <laughs> That will be thank you. May I have some beer? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, looks like we probably have some more uh, oh, clothing to get to. I did. I did. Not it. Uh, ah, yeah. Uh. Alright. Um. Me, 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 me. Let's get these elven cloaks. Magic goes down one, but their evasion goes up by 7%. Actually, it's just not. 256 KY. Impressive. So optimize what, like, the computer just does it for you? Yeah. Not the computer. Like, it gives you the... It, well, it gives you the highest hit point. What it feels is the optimal. Yeah. Which isn't always necessarily... Set. I need to get more clothing. Optimize. Let's see. Optimus. KY, what is your optimal uh, wardrobe? A black V-neck, methinks. I black V-neck. I mean, it didn't want to say it, but it's a staple in my wardrobe. I am a very simple man. Any, he, anything, uh, any hat? 
Uh, sometimes a hat, but very rarely. So that would not be part of the optimal. No, I, I no, it would not be. I mean, during the winter, I would have one with me. Mm. A black beanie. Okay. A black v-neck? A black beanie? What kind of weapon? Oh, what kind of weapon? In, in Well, in, in, you know, 2017 America? Probably a gun. Which kind? <laughs> Um, if I purchased one personally, it would probably be a 9mm pistol. So, if we were to optimize KY, black beanie, black v-neck, 9mm pistol, you look like somebody's gonna rob. You're gonna go rob somebody. <laughs> Should need a black bandana to put over my face. There you go. Man. You guys, you guys are right over there? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure? Yeah. Just making sure. Just, uh, you know, outfitting. I'm just learning a lot about What's your life. optimum outfit, sir? Uh, a black crew neck. Oh! He thinks that's a piece. How about, uh, no hat. Any, any hat? No hat. No hat. No hat. What kind of weapon? Uh. Words. Ooh, good question. Words. <laughs> Two yeah. said words. The Bible. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, do I have a, a baseball bat? It's like the only weapon I've ever... Oh, there you go. Like. That'll do some damage, man. Yeah, whenever I'm like... Well... What? I sleep with a baseball bat next to my bed. And I never have ever had to use it, but... You know, sometimes... It's good to have. You, you, you hear, like, creaks in the middle of the night. You say, hello? Of course nobody answers. Hello? Sneak 100. But you, you just feel a little bit more secure with that, uh... Uh, baseball, baseball bat. bat. Hand, yes, yeah. I agree. You said sneak 100. Yeah. You got 100 sneak? KY? Not, no, no, not in real life. Time, times 10 crit? <laughs> when when uh, you backstab them when you're sneaking? Not in real times life. Times 10 I'm damage? Not that skilled. I have, uh. Let me do this for now. Uh, my luck is pretty low, too. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd say I have a medium luck. Maybe like a five. Four, four or five, yeah. Tony, it might just be time to use all of your points, because I think you can master the class now, or come close to master it. Master class. Oh, all maybe right. not. Maybe you're a little off. Well, we, we can wait. We can wait. If you you just said I'm a little off, Twin? Yeah, just a little just off. A little just a little off. Just a little off. Just a little off. Just but what I am going to do... I've been hearing that my whole just year. Little, just a little higher, maybe? Just a little higher? Just a little higher. Just a little higher. Just a little higher. Just a little, wow, we haven't heard that in a long time. It's been a while. Been, been a long time. It been a long time. For a few months there. Been a long been time. time. Been a long time. Been a long time. There's no, uh... Shouldn't have left you. Shouldn't have left you. <laughs> Step two. Wait, is that... Is that? <laughs> yeah. Alright, KY, you finally have horizontal jump eight after for fucking ever. Now we just need to get to vertical KY, you jump eight. jump horizontally eight? Eight spaces, yes. Eight spaces. How is that possible? <laughs> I mean... That's like 40 feet. Squat 9,000, man. Horizontal. It's over 9,000! Can we do that move to start off the next battle? Because I want to see that shit. Yes. I want to see KY go like this. Oh! We, we will, we will. We will. I would love to make Tommy not a fucking monk. All right, make him a knight. <sighs> nope, he has to. Oh, because you're trying. To... He has to be one more level higher with the monk, anyways. Okay. Um. Although I don't remember why else I did that. Geomancer. I don't remember. I have to make him both a ninja and a samurai at some point. I don't remember which way I was going first. I guess I'll just go with the samurai first. Uh, Twain. And tone. Alright, this is what we're rolling with. This might be a little under leveled, we'll see. Yeah, I've been wearing a lot of crew necks lately. Oh yeah. Being like it just never was my oh, damn. It's just it's it's a little it's a little more jazzy than a normal t shirt, so it is a little more jazzy. I just yeah. I don't it just it's not tone. You know? I mean if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be wearing like t shirts pretty much for the duration, I might as well make it a little jazzy. So that's kind of, I guess, how I think about it. Fair enough. I, I just look in the mirror and it's not me. I can't do oh, it. Oh, right yeah, now. fair enough. I had uh, somebody buy me a couple of crew necks, like, and I, like two of them. Yeah. Either a birthday or Christmas. It must have been a birthday for the t-shirt. Yeah. A couple of v-necks, I'm sorry. And um, I was like, do you want me to start wearing v-necks? Oh, I remember this. 
you ready for this? All those yeah. battles. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, I need to this is a this is a thing. this is a series of battles. Holy shit! <laughs> Elder Simon. This was KY. Elder, speak to me. Assuming yeah. he speaks. Uh, Lady Alma, what what are you doing here? <laughs> Never mind that. What happened here? You you must leave this place at once, child. It is not safe. Men have come, come seeking a stone. A zodiac stone? Then it is as Alma said. The Furco stone is one of one of the crown jewels of Evilis. It was given into our keeping when Lady Ophelia was brought here for her fosterage as proof of her royalty. And the ones come to take it? Who are they? You are Alma's elder brother, Tommy, was it not? I beg you, my son, leave them be. Block their way and they will only cut you down. Where's the bloody stone? Second man. Patience, it's here somewhere. We only need to look harder. How old is that guy? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. <laughs> uh, third man. Come, this leads to the lower vaults. Everybody, charge! I am branded a heretic and hunted by the church. Am I to assume the stones I now possess are the reason? Who are these men? Please, I must know. Very well, High Confessor, Marshall and his followers seek to restore the church to prominence. As a first step, they have set Dukes Log and Gotana against one another to whittle down their military might. The longer the fighting lasts, the weaker the dukes become, and the more the people lose their faith in the crown. And by gathering these stones and reviving the Zodiac Braves, what do they hope to gain from such a show? The support of the people, of course. You dumbass. Truly, the Cardinal used this stone to infuse himself with the strength of God the damn kids. Lukavi. If such is the power of the Zodiac Stones, it is a power to rival that of any army. Is that strength not what the High Confessor seeks? You are unlike your brothers. You remind me a great deal more of your late Lord Father. You, you may well have what is needed to put a stop to their ambitions. Wait here. I am going after them. And I with you! We cannot leave Elder Simon here alone. Find a safe place to hide. Wait there with him until I return. So this is like both smart because like she's gonna be useless because she has like 80 hit points. She's like level four, or like no. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, just having her hide, when has that ever been successful? Very well. And, and the compound issues. The other sight with you, lest the worst befall me. If I fail to return, cast it into the Bay Bugros Sea. That's the grossest name for a sea I've ever seen. <laughs> Bugros. <laughs> it pains me that I can do more, no more at times like this. How I wish I'd born, be born a man like you, G. <laughs> Get good. Don't be ridiculous. Who would I ever turn to if I didn't have my little sister? That's so condescending. Oh, are Tiny. you my sister? I forgot. Take Elder Simon to safety. Who do you think she was? I don't know. <laughs> Alma. So this is a multi-part bat, uh, multi a uh, series of battles. So we are gonna save in a separate part, just in case level twenty is just not good enough. And on uh, the next episode, of Students of Gaming, we will go into that first battle okay. uh, with some combination of these five. We know who we're going to combine, who to battle with. So. Well, some well, combination of these facts. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess we're doing it on the next episode. Class dismissed.